Hey guys, it's I, Power and Iron here, doing my model kit review today, this time on Gundam Mage's Gundam Legolas, and all of its goddamn beauty and glory. This guy right here is from Mosu Gundam Mage. I think it's Mosu Gundam Mage in title. If not, it's just Gundam Mage. This right here is the main rival Mo Mosu of the enemy's vegan uh, enemy faction. <sighs> One of the things I will say, I love the design of the vegan machines. As they are all draconic in nature, design-wise. As this guy right here looks so badass. Look like look like a dragon. It has tails, it has a wings. It's still right there. Turned to a beam saber. We'll show more of that later when I do like the whole uh, weaponry and stuff and aesthetics and all that. But this thing looks beautiful. Right here and all that. Pearly white. With the blue right there line-wise. It's weaponry looking beautiful with shields and all that. Very, very nice and beautiful sign right there. Rotating around. Really, really do truly love it. I think out of all, I like out of all the vegan machines, this one right here, and then the Girogrog, which is its predecessor, are probably my favorite of all designs. They're sleek, slender. What I want, and kind of like if I ever want to do like a custom design for Draconic, these guys right here is where I would put it probably base wise. But going out of the way, let's go with the uh, what it comes with. Now here's everything: Gundam Girogrog, eh, Gundam Legolas. Sorry. Wrong machine. Uh, Gundam Legolas comes with, as you can see right here, comes with three. It's got, comes with three manipulator hands, two of the open ones, which are going to be for the beam sabers. One of them is holding for the beam for the beam rifle. The other two hands are two closed, basic closed fists right there. As you can see right there, closed fist right there. Comes with a beam rifle. Comes with a beautiful beam rifle. This thing's a two-parter, so just slap it on and boom, it's done. Does come with two foils, one for the beam, uh, for the, uh, basically for the sensor on the rifle, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I did paint the, uh, the inside of the board the blast comes out with. I don't know if you're able to see that, right? If you can, that's fine. See the sensor and all that. Comes with its shields right here. Shields a basically four parts right here. Basically, the white is the base. And you have the yellow yellow part right there. Then you have the red part right there. Then you have two red parts that you slap onto it. The green right there would be a sticker, as it would be a uh, green sticker right here in the foil, but I didn't use that. I don't like using uh, basic giant sheets of paper and whatnot. So I just used Gundam Mark, Emerald uh, Gundam Mark right there, and just painted that. Went that to dry, it didn't take that long. And that was it. So not only that, we also have the Girog rug itself. Really nice mobile suit. Design-wise and all that. Comes with two wings that can open right there. Comes with a tail right there. That can open up. And turn during beam. And also it's a beam blaster right there. Though I will say I do probably will have to, what's it called, paint the word the Blast comes out. Just got to look up and see what color it is. And been able to paint it like that. But that's what it's come with. So right now let's go with articulation. So right now we're going to go with the articulation for getting the Gundam Rug Rug. I mean, getting the Legless. God damn it. I don't know why it keeps both predecessor machines. So let's go. It says able to move around. It's able to do the super squibble. Oh, oh no. Ugh, the forehead came off. No, that's fine. It's easy to put back on. Able to spin its head. Nice and all that. Its head's able to move around. Whee! Spin around. Just be careful when spinning it because the forehead apparently likes to come off. Or it likes to come off like this. Whee! Then we have the arm. We're going to go all the way up. Down. It's got one of those uh, single weird ball joints that it likes to do. So it's able to move around all the way like that. Hands able to move around like this. It's able to just go around. It's able to spin the arm because it is on a ball joint. And this guy really does not have an brunch at all. I mean, he could spin. That's pretty much it. Ooh. Tail likes to move around. I can tell you that much. Uh... And we go with the legs. The legs uh, are also on bow joints, but they're able to go around. The skirts 
are removable as they are kind of like on those uh, little pe uh, peg bowl joints stingamajigs. That can only go all the way up here before it gets stuck. Like we go over right here. There we go. It's able to remove. That's as far as it can go. Can go all the way front, all the way in the back. So it's not good. Oh no. Yeah, see, that's what I meant by it being on like one of those bulb joint things. All uh, the gun, gun mages, vegan machines kind of always have that. Oh no. Oh, uh, the piece foiled back. Give me one second. Okay, reattach the piece. Piece is reattached back. And like I said, these things come on these bowl joint ports, which are oh, great. Okay, we're back. So, what was I saying? So, these things are in bowl joint pieces right here. So, they just go, so you just slap them on right there. And boom, they're movable, which is kind of good. Like other back skirts, which are basically movable, but they have a tendency to slip out a little bit, but that's fine and dandy. And we have the wings right here, which are able to open. Uh, I will say, I will warn, the wings kind of do pop off a little bit. They're a little bit easier to pop off, which I kind of don't like. So how they're designed, kind of wish they were designed a little bit more closed open, but we can't do much about it. But these are basically two parts on each. It's like a four-part wings. Well, technically, it's uh, seven parts. You have like the two inner parts here, two inner parts here, and then one inner part here that connects over here with the... The peg piece right here uh, and they connect right there not the best secure place but hey what can you do it's able to move around pretty decent lot just be careful this does this is able to move around enough the only thing I will say is just be careful this thing likes to pop off a lot then we have the tail which is this beam tail tail which is able to move it out it's able to move it move Pretty nice up and down. It's got multiple parts right there where it's able to move. Uh, these can actually come off if you want to. As right here, this is the connection point right here. As you can pop off there, reconnects and reconnects back, and then reconnects back over there where the tail's at. With no problem at all. God damn, this thing does not want to be. And then it's able to fold like that, and boom, tails back and holstered. So another gimmick of the Gundam Legolas is, as oh, I guess basically almost like almost all main rival mobile suits, well not all, some main rival mobile suits, as you probably know, can basically detach themselves. And what I mean by detach themselves, I mean this. So, in order to escape enemy pursuit, the, whee, yeah that's right. I can leave its mobile suit, put it down to the ground, and come attack you like this. Like an evil dragon beam bat monster from hell coming to attack you. Like this. Whee! And you can just attack itself. This thing does have its own peg system too that it can attach onto somewhere. I know it has a peg piece that's supposed to come up there. But it's able to separate. It's actually pretty nice and cool about this. Kind of reminds me of one of those uh, demon bat creatures or monsters that you fight in any D&D &D or RPG game or anime. Looks actually pretty nice. Can make a custom of this somehow. But then again, and here is how it is with how it is without the basically escape pouch, escape port. Don't know what it's called. It's basic hollow right there. But once you reattach the backpack back in, it has a slot right there, as you can see right there. Slots back right in. And it's dirty right there. Like it never was gone in the first place. Looking good, Gundam Girog Rog. Eh, Legolas. Legolas! I don't know why I keep saying Girog Rog. Girog Rog is the predecessor of this thing, which is not, was not a Gundam. Ugh. Oh, I'm going to really hit this review with me. Confuse the name out of this guy. And overall, design-wise, really love the machine. Love its love aesthetic, love its design. Actually, one of the funny things here, uh, like four or five years ago, so I basically have finished my backlog. And when I restarted buying model kits again, when I was like, kind of like, had nothing left, the Gundam Leg List was my, actually, first model kit. That I rebuilt, that I started rebuilding back my backlog. And knowing my backlog now is like, Plus, like, 40, 50 kids. 
and he's been basically on the back burner for the, like the longest time not being built so i'm happy was gonna be like this finally being built it's been so goddamn long so if anything else i'm just happy that i finally built them you know you know i'm actually looking at gundam legolas kind of like this you know it kind of reminds me of kind of reminds me of cell from dragon ball a little bit it's like a whole dread gonic snake insect kind of bug creature i'm thinking about this uh what's it called gundam so again monica review for gundam legolas really nice design really love the kit Probably one of my favorites of all time. Uh, what's it called? Uh, I enjoyed it. I loved it. I love the build. It's actually pretty nice and easy, especially considering an older kit. It's actually pretty. It's aged pretty well. If uh, trying to get now, say if you want to try to buy, it, try to buy it and get this. Uh, I probably either go to some websites. Uh, for me personally, I usually my personal website is called Again the Planet. My personal Gundam Planet, uh, personal, uh, it's my uh, go-to website, go-to buy my Gunpla. Really nice people. Uh, what's it called? Great store. Check if they, uh, they do a lot of restocks. So, hopefully it's in restock. If not, you probably have to wait. Other places too, you probably go to buy and see if you try to get one. Uh, this is Gundam Legacy though, I got from eBay. And uh, was one of my more expensive kits because Bandai does not do reshoots a lot for these kit uh, for these guys anymore. It's kind of sad. Uh, not gonna say how much, but it was basically master grades pay worse. And I uh, do I regret it? Yes. But I was working then, so I, I had the money to basically, I had the money to basically dump on this. Same thing with Dark Hound. Well, Dark Hound wasn't expensive. Uh, but this, yeah, this is the Monica review for Gundam Legolas. Oh, shit. Uh, my next Monica review will be on the Dark Hound. It's counterpart rival. Uh, keep a lookout for that Monica review and and the uh, next week or so. Uh, first things first, I gotta build that guy first. But was that out of the way? This Pyro Arden signing out. And I'll see you guys on the next one.